right at the beginning of our GCSE course, we introduced you to something really, really tricky to understand, atomic structure. And it's tricky to understand because it's so small, you can't see it. You just have to believe us when we tell you it's there. So I'm going to explain atomic structure to you using um, Skittles and M&Ms. And this was an absolutely no way an excuse just to go out and buy loads and loads of sweets. There are three important things that you need to be aware of in um, that make up an atom. We have our protons, we have our neutrons, and we have our electrons. Now these are all found in different places. The protons are in the nucleus, as are the neutrons. And the electrons are flying around the outside in shells. Now the reason I've used um, M&Ms and Skittles for protons and neutrons is because they're about the same size. So that's the location, and now we're going to talk about their mass. It is about the same size, I'm going to say that their mass is 1, and the electrons I've used is teeny tiny little popping candy for, because their um, mass is effectively nothing. So we're going to say that's zero. I'll talk about charges and something in a different vid in a different video. And um, for the moment, we're just going to be looking at the masses of these. So our protons and neutrons look very very similar. Here, they are about the same size. We can see that on the inside, they are very very different. They are they do completely different things. The only thing that you need to remember for this video is that they are the same size and they weigh one. They look the same, they're the same size, they are just different. Whereas the electrons are tiny in comparison. So on your periodic table you are going to see boxes, that was primrose being helpful, you're going to see boxes like this, you are going to see a symbol in the box, we're going to start with carbon, and then you're going to see two numbers up here that look like this, a big number at the top and a little number at the bottom. The big number at the top, this, is the mass number. This is equal to the protons plus the neutrons. And this little number down here, this is the atomic number. This is equal to the number of protons. So for carbon, it has six protons. So I'm going to stick six skittles in the middle. And it... And it has a mass of 12, so we need to make this number here up to 12 in total. So there's another 3, and there's another 3. So that's what the nucleus of carbon looks like. It's got an atomic number of 6, so it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 skittles in there, and it's got a mass of 12. So there are going to be 12 heavy bits in the middle here. Now, it has 6 electrons as well. These electrons are absolutely tiny. Two, three, four, five, six, and a whizzing around the outside like that. So all the heavy stuff is in the middle, and then there are these teeny tiny little electrons that fly around the outside. If I just take all of those away, and then we look at a different example. So let's look at potassium it has an atomic number of 19 and it has a mass number of 39 so so that's what the nucleus of the potassium um, atom looks like it has 19 skittles in there the pink ones, and then 20 M&Ms. For more explanation on how I worked out the number of M&Ms that we needed, go and check out my other video I've already done on this. I'll pop a link to it for you. Um, this is what the nucleus looks like. Everything's about the same size, so protons and neutrons are the same size, they weigh one, and then all together there are 39 sweets in the middle. Protons and neutrons look very, very similar, but are completely different. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, promoscreen.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.